For I think she takes Captain America, Loki. I'm no, I'm just kidding. This one's not as good. Kali spoke Kalada. This this one's not as good, if I'm being honest. But I mean, shit. We opened it, so we'll drink it. The other flavors are better. All right, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be watching Kick Ass today. And I hear it's a superhero movie, but a very untraditional superhero movie. So I'm excited to see how that goes. <laughs> it's just a fun, silly comedy, and I'm excited to watch. So I'm going to stop wasting time. We're just going to hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that would be available on Patreon, as well as early access to the next two movies that I'm doing. To the next four movies, actually, that I'm doing will also be available on Patreon or YouTube membership down below. Click the join button down below. So anyways, let's get started. You'd think that one eccentric loner would have made himself a costume. A schools and office is so thrilling that I'm the only one who ever fantasized about this. At some point in our lives, we all wanted to be a superhero. Oh, my. That's oh my. not me, by the way. Oh my. That's some oh Armenian my. guy with a history of mental health problems. Wow. Who am I? I'm kick ass. Wow. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't too confident I was gonna work for Bud there. Holy shit. What a good start to the movie. That's me. I guess I was the last person you'd expect to become a superhero. I'm not saying there was anything Yeah, you do look you do look kinda nerdy. Like most people my age, I just existed. Wait, fucking dude, no, that that's uh that's Evan Peters. Oh, that's I didn't know he was in this. Kick in my bedroom door, and you probably find me watching TV. And Nicolas Cage, he's in this. Hey, look, I'm Todd's mom. Uh, oh, that's funny. <laughs> this is your dad. No, that's still my mom, actually. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Not in the store anymore. My mother was killed by an aneurysm in the kitchen. Oh. Opposed to a gunman in the alley. So if you were hoping for any- I will avenge you, mother! You're out of luck. How come nobody's ever tried to be a superhero? Well, I don't know. Probably because it's fucking impossible, dipshit. <laughs> Hello, Bruce Wayne? He didn't have any powers? He had yes, money. but he had all the expensive shit that doesn't exist. Oh, I thought yeah. you meant like, how come nobody does it in real life? If they don't have powers, they're, they're insanely rich, like Tony Stark and Bruce Wayne. And they're super geniuses, too, so they can invent all the cool shit that doesn't exist. Seriously, out of all the millions of people who love superheroes, you think one would give it a try? Yeah, dude in the beginning gave it a try. He died. <laughs> Ooh, guess who? Oh, that's fucking... It's McLovin. Yeah, it must be terrible to have a rich dad and everything you want. I wish you wouldn't have said anything because I feel like I'm gonna start crying. Right. The fact that he's always on his own. Do him. See if he wants to hang out with us. Oh, I didn't say we should talk to him. I just think he could use his parents' money to, to pay for all our gadgets, so he can be a superhero. Watch him be a fucking dickhead. Fuck off. Oh, not the bodyguard. <laughs> all right, no problem. Take anyone's ass. Whatever, man. I was just going for his knees. Well, you're not making sense. Yeah, then what are you gonna do when that doesn't work? <laughs> and he's standing over top of you and beats your fucking ass. If you don't absolutely obliterate his knee with one shot, you're dead. Phones, money. Look at this asshole just watching. Hmm. Not my business. I mean, what's he supposed to do? Like, would you do anything differently? We see someone in trouble and we wish we could help. It steals all the coke. It's supposed to be the guy that looks like Batman. I didn't say he looked like Batman. You did, Trey. You said the guy looked like- They're gonna cut his finger off. You sold him my coke, and you took the money. That's a fucking lie! Or all my coke was stolen by Superman. Batman. I never said Batman! Enough! Stole it, so maybe there is another superhero out here. Be the worst hey, fucking excuse I ever hey. heard, Trey. <laughs> ah, fuck, they just cut his pinky off. <sighs> oh, it's his dad. Just the perfect combination of optimism and naivety. Uh, but... And it's here. Let's see how this looks. Okay. 
You are fucking awesome. Fuck. Come on, man. bring it on. The thing is, he doesn't even he doesn't even know how to fight. Like, aside from Batman just being super mega rich, he was also extremely good at fighting, right? Ra's al Ghul made him hella rot fighting too. Be a big girl now. There's nothing to be afraid of. Is it gonna hurt bad? Oh, chuck. Oh, wait, that's the girl from Neighbors too. Damn, she's young. But she sounds the exact same. But it's really no more painful than a punch in the chest. I hate getting punched in the chest. You're gonna be fine, baby doll. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she had like a, a bulletproof vest. <laughs> Not so bad. Kind of fun, huh? You won't be scared when some junky asshole pulls a Glock. I wouldn't have been scared anyway. Yeah, well, if they shoot her in the forehead. Or whatever, and she doesn't, or she doesn't have the bulletproof vest on. Two more rounds, no wincing, no whining, and you got yourself a deal, young lady. Yeah. Good call, baby doll. This fucking dad of the year, I guess. Fuck. You want to get a dog? Yeah, a cuddly, fluffy one, and a Bratz movie star makeover, Sasha. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, daddy. <laughs> Look, I love a French Big Model 42 butterfly knife. Oh my god. <laughs> you always knock me for a loop. Bro, what is he trying to train her to be a fucking assassin? I call it preparation. Bro, you're not making that jump. You're not making that jump. I knew was, I never felt so good at. I mean, if you keep, okay, when you're practicing, you didn't really get a running start. If you, this is a long jump. Okay, this is actually not that bad. As long, if you can long jump eight feet, you got it. Right. He's not making it though. Oh, oh, oh Fuck! Okay, maybe I was still in the beta testing phase. Okay, no, that's way more than eight feet. That's more than an eight feet gap. You're not making that jump, dude. Maybe with adrenaline, like your life depends on it. You know, you're being chased, so you insane amount of adrenaline. Then yeah, maybe. But I'm gonna still say no. I'm gonna still say no. What the fuck are you looking at? Nothing. I'm actually glad he didn't decide to try and stop him because he's he's debating. Eventually fantasizing just doesn't do it for you anymore. It was time to engage. No, it's not time. They're gonna beat your fucking ass. What the fuck? <laughs> I said what the fuck are you looking at? Two cheap shit losers screwing with a car that someone probably worked their ass off to pay for. This motherfucker is obviously high. <laughs> I'm not high. High on passion. Just walk away from the car and we can forget about this. What does he have behind his back? Uh, <laughs> you crazy? Fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah, see you. He just got stabbed, huh? Yeah, see, bro, what are you gonna do then? Like, see, bro, I was gonna say, what if they have a knife or a gun? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Whoa! Okay, I did not expect. I didn't expect to get my fucking car right there. I came round for just long enough to beg the medic not to tell anybody about the costume. How are you gonna explain this to your parents? I guess you. My dad was gonna kill me. Well, you, I mean, you could just say you got robbed, stabbed, and hit by a car. I guess you don't have to tell them you're trying to be a fucking vigilante. Especially if the medics don't say anything about the costume, then I guess. I don't. I don't mind you talking business, Dad. I was just gonna sit in there quietly. I mean, I should probably start learning this stuff anyway, right? It's not a bad idea by the kid to learn about it. You know, but they're probably gonna talk about like how they're killing people and shit and like selling drugs and stuff. So you can't let your kid around that, so. His son thinks he's like running a legitimate like business, not a f not being a drug lord, so. What, this is my choice? Like, I gotta believe in oh, superheroes? Just that he might have really been gaffled by somebody. So he wasn't lying. Uh, rushing over for a friendly chat. <laughs> Hey, Look at this room. Oh my god. Bro, why do you need all these guns? Like, you can't pop, you can't use all of these. This is like decoration. Mmm, butterfly knife. Like she asked for. <laughs> Daddy, look. Hey, come on, you're not looking. Bro, she's fucking nice with that, dude. I used to have, okay, fun fact. When I was like 15, I bought one. That was like obviously fake. It wasn't a real blade or anything. You get them on Amazon. And it was fun to just do tricks with it. And like, I never got like that good at it, but I got decently good with it. I was able to do some cool stuff. 
Too much of a pussy though to use a real one. Hell no. The guys tell me you're Chris Fernandez. What do I know, huh? God, I no, you see Fernandez. Bro, what the fuck? Here we go. Bro, they're really fucking microwaving him? What? Can't even hear him. Can't even focus on what he's saying, even if he could hear him. So, you, our, coke. Oh. oh. Jesus. <laughs> Bro, I'm not, okay, actually, I'm kind of curious to know what would happen if you put a human in, if you actually put someone in a microwave. Obviously, I don't want to test that and find out, but I'm just curious to know. It'd be horrible if they actually did that. It seemed like no time at all before I was back on my feet. Dave's what? <laughs> Apart from some messed up nerve endings, the doctors have managed to fix me up. Hey, you won't feel shit now when you're fighting, I guess. You're like fucking Jason Bourne or something, man, that owns. See, that was his origin story. Having broken ass nerve endings is his super is his superpower now. He won't he doesn't feel pain. Sure. Thank you. Okay. Sweet. Well, I'll see you later. Mm. What is she like attracted to the fact that you got hit by a fucking car? <laughs> like see that? Yeah. Katie Dahmer just offered to buy me coffee. Yeah, you know, I really don't think that's what it looks like. Mm. Oh, she wants his insurance money. That's what. I've been trying to figure out how to tell you this. Uh, there's a rumor going around, right? That you, what, are gay. Gay? Oh, oh never mind. That. Well, you know, I mean, getting mugged. And... You guys have been mugged. Yeah, I know, but, you know, we didn't get beat up and have all our clothes taken off. Oh, it's yeah. not even true. The medic threw my clothes away. That doesn't even make sense, because even if he was mugged, they stole his clothes, and then they did, you know... I don't, I don't want to say, I don't like saying the word, but like, you know, they did that to him. How, that's, how does that make him gay? Like, they did it to him. How does that make him gay? I don't whatever. I don't know. I'm running kick-ass version 2.0. Dude, have you seen Mr. Bitey? I saw there's a meme cat poster that's like, have you seen this cat? And then at the bottom, it's like, now you have. Here, Mr. Bitey. Oh, he found him. Okay, he's gonna have, he's gonna save this guy getting chased. Fuck you, Mr. Bitey! <laughs> no! Ooh, oh, oh, shit. The dude running tripped on him. So sorry, man. You fucking grieve! Bro, what if you just get shanked again? What if you just get stabbed again? Like... Yeah, don't get stabbed again. Just walk away. No, never. His passion will give him that. The three assholes laying into one guy where everybody else watches. And you wouldn't know what's wrong with me? I'd rather die. You're fucking crazy, kid. He's gonna have to get some body armor. Like, you can't go rocking without armor again. Thank you. Well, it's first successful mission. Fucking raw. Who are you? I'm kick ass. Oh, wait. Dude. You gotta oh, that's old ass YouTube, bro. That is old ass YouTube, Jesus. But that kid who recorded it with the flip phone, I think that was um, I think that was Jimmy Wong, who worked on the YouTube channel Freddy Wong, on YouTube. That actually was around in 2010. I watched their videos back back in the day. They made amazing videos for 2010. If you know, you know. Yeah, he went viral. Wait, but like if you watch the video, you clearly can hear, you can he clearly hear his voice. Uh, Nick Cage sees this. And if your friends see it, they'll know it's you from your voice. Like, I, like, dude, I know my friends' voices. So if I heard their voices without seeing their face, I would know who it is immediately. She didn't want the money back that she'd given him or an apology for the black eye he given her. Ooh. Katie? Oh, you're Azul? You gotta stay away from Katie now. It's over. What? I'm kick ass. Look me up. Dude, where does his confidence come from? Like, like I get he's really passionate about it, but like still, dude. And break your fucking legs. You barely beat the last guy. Right here now, baby. What's up? Ooh. Ah. Oh shit. Oh, his taser. <laughs> so fucking dead, man. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, it's the fucking girl. Let's see what she can do now. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Me. Okay, so where's Nick Cage at? Dude, she is nice. <laughs> oh, God, bro, I'm just surrendering. I'm not even trying to fight her. I'm just like, bro, just. Oh. She's probably killing you anyway. Relax, we're on the same team. Hey, get up. Oh. Nick Cage did that. Yeah. Hey, girl, we always keep our backs. To the wall, Daddy, I know. Hit girl, okay. Yeah, he was watching her, covering her, okay. Okay, so I think Nick Cage is the other superhero they were talking about in the beginning, who, the guy where they cut his finger off, that they were talking about him, he stole the money in the coke. Bro, she kind of looks like Batman. On Hit Girl. <laughs> and that's oh, Big Dad. That's Batman, bro. <laughs> that's Batman. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you can that's a new, you can make that jump. Come on! I mean, it's he's not used to it. It's terrifying for him, so... I mean, he'll get there eventually. He'll get there. I think he can make the jump, but, like, the landing would be kind of rough, I feel like. If you don't know how to land properly. The Hit Girl did, so... Hit Girl and Big Daddy. <laughs> they were the real deal. Mm-hmm. Oh, now he feels all insecure. Hold on, you're telling me one guy killed eight of my men tonight? Eight at Sal's place. So obviously, like, Hit Girl and Big Daddy are anonymous. Like, no one knows them. They're not public or anything. The police could have traced us right back to you if they found it. Mm. But lucky for you, I picked it up. <sighs> yeah, see, a rookie mistake by him. I rerouted your IP address. Finding you was way too easy. Bro, bro the way he talks is kind of annoying. Shit, I hadn't thought... Yeah, they, oh my god, I... There's so many little things you don't know, like... Like, he doesn't know what he doesn't know. But you know we're around if you need us. Dude, his cadence. You just contact the mayor's office. He has a special signal that shines in the sky. Oh, like Batman? It's in the shape of a giant car. <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, that was all... Okay, she was being sarcastic. Back to headquarters. Bro, they're so goofy. <laughs> Not really Hick girl, but Nick Cage is... He's a little goofy, dude. The way he just ran to the window and like his cadence. I think she's a cooler superhero, honestly. It's like one of the rare times where like the sidekick's actually cooler than the main superhero. Say nothing to nobody. You and your crazy midget friend can go bash whoever you want. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. They're killing him. Oh my god, that would be dude. Okay, eight oh. It's a quick death, but, like, just being in the car and knowing you're about to die, oh, my God. Like, that's the worst part. Knowing you're going to die right now, that's, I don't want to die anyway to where I know I'm about to die. I want to know. Like, hopefully when I pass away, I don't know what's coming. Like, I have no idea. I just, I don't even care if I'm fucking assassinated. As long as I don't know it's coming, it doesn't matter. Yep. He's trying to take, trying to take him down, yeah. Called Daddy and Marcus. Mm. Who were very good at getting bad guys. Oh, uh, do they used to work together? Being framed as a drug dealer was the worst possible thing that could have happened to Daddy. Uh, okay, that's that's Nick Cage's motivation. He wants to he wants to take him out because he framed them. How'd you find me, Marcus? Mm. One of us is still a cop, remember? Is that you brainwashed, Mindy? Yeah. You say brainwashed. I say made it into a game. All this you keep carrying on like you've been carrying on. It's only a matter of time before Gigante's looking. He's been on Frank D'Amico's payroll ever since. This is not the life for Mindy. Yeah, it's really not. You owe that kid a childhood. I'll tell you who owes her a childhood. Frank D'Amico! Holy shit. <sighs> there he is. I don't fucking believe it. Now, nah, watch it be someone just like cosplaying as him or something. Kick ass. How you doing? Mm. Oh, damn, what a fucking head kick, Jesus. Kill my men, huh? Take my fucking coke! What the fuck are you looking at? Huh? Oh. Frank, oh. <laughs> what? No, there's no way he's dead. Oh, I know. Hey, Katie. No, he's not dead, what the fuck? So that must have been someone random then cosplayed as kick-ass. I don't. Mm, yep. 
kid has a a, a, a Spider-Man party. Sure, but a fucking kick-ass party. I mean, dude, it sounded like him when he was talking, so... You're a superhero, and you're lonely, but you can't trust anyone because either they'll expose your secret identity... Comic or books. Is I can be that stranger. You just gotta give me a chance. I know I can do it. I just need a few things. He really wants to help his dad and be involved. Oh, did you watch the TV? The new superhero guy? How cool is that? Oh, could you turn it up, please? Check this out. Yep. Yeah. Living in fear, you know, and, and Kick-Ass really proved that one Bro, individual can make a difference, so... He looks like Robin. I feel like he's just as pathetic as Robin. Okay, I'm sorry. I know Robin's, like, not actually pathetic, but, like, my perception of him is so screwed up. Bro, you don't need a cape. <laughs> just because Red Mist has one. Wait, dude, what was that? Oh, my God. Was it fucking The Boys? Or it showed you, like, why capes are stupid? There was something I saw where it was, like... No, it was superhero movie. I'm pretty sure it was. Where like the superhero had a cape. Like um, Drake Bell's character wanted a cape, and then they showed you why capes are dummy. I like sucked into the airplane engine or something, something like that. Straight up, and listen, if you, I don't know, if you wanted me to be your sidekick or something, you and me together, we would own. You want to go fight some crime? No, oh, I mean like right now. Yeah, man. Come on, I guess. And you ever fight crime between like nine and two weekdays? So I'm gonna need to get back. <laughs> yeah, bro. You, like, if you're fighting crime at night, you're going to school during the day. You have no time to sleep. Like, you would be exhausted by now. On patrol, you know, going up against a crowd can get kind of scary, don't you think? So that's so corny. I don't like. <laughs> Wait, was it The Incredibles that did that? The guy got sucked into the airplane. Yeah, it was The Incredibles. Yeah. Wow, they actually had a dude get sucked into the airplane engine in The Incredibles. Wow. I'm pretty sure the superhero cape dilemma thing, too, also happened in another movie. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, it was, um... What's his face? It was Nick Cage and his daughter, huh? Hey, can you hear me? Hey. Uh. 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 We gotta get the hell out of here. Dude, move your fucking ass. Uh. Okay, watch. Okay, watch. Red Mist, he set him up, right, originally, but now that this happened, they're gonna become actual bros now. And then Red Mist won't be able to hand him over to his dad. Why did you save the teddy? What? I don't know, man. Come on. <coughs> it's personal to him. Worry about him. You need to watch this. Mm. Oh, it was a teddy cam. Yeah, they're gonna see that Nick Cage came in and fucking killed everyone. Yeah. God damn. What's cool too is Batman could actually be this brutal, like, oh my god. Batman obviously, he doesn't kill, but if he did, it would look like this. <laughs> okay, that entire scene right there with Big Daddy killing everyone was fucking sick. You guys told me we're not the only superheroes in town. Maybe he knows who this guy is. Bro, think about what the first guy told you, who you cut his pinky off or whatever. He said a dude looked like who looked like Batman robbed him. That guy looks like Batman. I killed all the cameras. You need to get ghost. Hide yourself quick. Appreciate it. No more homework, baby doll. It's time for Frank D'Amico to go bye-bye. <laughs> She's ready. I'd always dreamed of being a superhero, but this was a nightmare. Yeah, super, superhero business is tough shit. But there was one last thing I needed it for. I was gonna reveal himself to her, yeah. What's the difference between Spider-Man and Peter Parker? God, this is gonna go so bad. This is gonna go so bad. She's gonna be like, what the fuck? And like freak out because he's in here. Like, <laughs> she can't even hear him. He's gonna scare the shit out of her by accident. You mail me? Oh. Wait! Oh. Dave. My mom has the burglar alarm on downstairs. You should probably use the window. Yeah, why were you about to go through the front door? What the fuck? Or 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 you could just stay. Rose so fucking awkward. It's perfect, and they can deliver it in three days. Ah, uh, it's three hundred thousand bucks. What the fuck? Is, what is it? Oh my gosh! What? Add to shopping cart. Oh, well, well, how do we have this much money? It's probably like a tank or something. It has to be like um, just an absolutely like decked out truck or something, you know? 
Mm. Oh, well, like, it turns out those dead guys from the warehouse had some bad motherfuckers for friends, and they think we did that shit. Mm. There's a price on our heads, man. They found out where I lived, they trashed my place, I'm fucking screwed, and you're All gonna right. be next, okay? Set him up again. Shit. Remember you mentioned that there were other superheroes? Yeah, he's trying to get them out. So we can kill them. Hot chocolate. Extra marshmallow. And that looks even cooler than it did in the picture. You know, that's because in the picture, it didn't have Gatling guns. Oh, no, that's just, the Gatling guns are a part of it. What the fuck is it, then? Well, what's this fucking Batman music now? This, uh, the Batman 2022 music? <laughs> oh, yeah, he feels guilty about it. Oh, Nick Cage is probably gonna die. I don't think his daughter will, but I think he will. Pleasure to meet you. Good to meet you, sir. Please, come in. The music's, the music's rising. Oh, God. Hi, I'm Hit Girl. No! 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 He has a, she has a bulletproof vest on, though, like the beginning. Oh! 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 Damn it. Okay, well, they didn't kill him yet, but they got him. And I'm gonna say his daughter had a bulletproof vest on like she did in the beginning of the movie. They set up her comeback with that. Get out, huh? Get out. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. We had a deal, Dad. Like, bro, you know how badly your dad wants him dead. Like, why would you think they wouldn't kill him or anything? Like, the guy who did it. And all I'm asking is you let kick ass go. He didn't do anything wrong. That was part of their deal. I gotta send a public service message to the people out there. Wait, where's Dave? There are no clues as mm. yet as to the exact <laughs> Holy shit, have you guys noticed that he's with Katie? Obviously. To to Why else would I be here? I don't know, dude. He was about to notice it. He's, he was about to connect the dots, but then, yeah, I guess him being with Katie could make sense, too. What can do, guy? Mm. <laughs> oh, that must hurt. Let's see that All bad. <laughs> Which is very good for hitting knees. <laughs> mm. It's also good for hitting balls. <laughs> Ooh. Do them all together, gentlemen, please. Bro, this is brutal. Bro, imagine this happened to, like fucking Tony Stark. <laughs> like, you know, do you know how hard that would be to watch as a civilian? Like, if Iron Man was a real hero and it is just happening to him. My fucked up nerve endings. Shit still hurt. That hurt. Is fire. It's, dude, this hurts more for Katie and Marcus because, like, they know who they are. But, like, you know, just... But, like, his friends, they just... They don't know it's Dave. Fire is our friend. Big Daddy's actually gonna get lit on fire, but not not kick ass. Not Time to die. <gasps> Ooh, it's his daughter. It's the daughter. Yep. Yeah. Watch this be, like, a fifth superhero we have no idea about. Bobby. No, it's definitely her. I got it! Yeah, Big Daddy, no! No! Take Bro, cover! Or wait, if you're in the... Is the chair, like, bolted into the ground? Because if I'm Nick Cage, I'm fucking pushing back, you know? Just get out of the fire as best as you can. Do, do as much as you can. And then you'd figure one of these bodyguards would just shoot Kick-Ass or Big Daddy right now just to make sure they're dead. I mean, I get they're focused on her, but, you know, just shoot him hella quick to make sure you kill him. <laughs> oh, my God. This fucking this shot right here. I mean, he maybe he survived. Maybe, maybe. Show us over, motherfuckers. Yeah, the, yeah, they're like, what the fuck? Eleven-year-old girl just took out all his men. How did you do, Daddy? Oh. Sleep tight. Oh, sleep tight. R.I.P. All right, she's gonna finish his work. She's gonna fi she's gonna finish what he started. Look, you can't go on. She can barely see above the wheel. <laughs> yeah, she's getting ready. She's gonna go kill him. She's going to go and kill him. And she, she's doing it tonight. 
You know what my dad really would have wanted? He would have wanted me to finish what we started. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Is that what I think it is? What is it? Damn straight. Oh, and you better start reading the instructions because you're gonna be using it in about five minutes. <laughs> Okay, what could have two Gatling guns attached to it that can fit in that crate? Could it be a, um... Oh my god, it's those things in Call of Duty where, like, you set it in a corner. It'll, you know, get everyone who walks by it or whatever. <sighs> Fuck, I'm blanking on the name of it. It's stationary. Oh god, oh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Sentry gun is what it's called. It's called a goddamn sentry gun. <laughs> no, she's in. Oh my god. She's gonna have a fat montage here. Oh, wait, this song's in Shrek, huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> Just fucking take him and load the guns up. Okay, that's pretty cool. Bro, I think she takes Captain America, Loki. I'm just, no, I'm just kidding. She's definitely the best sidekick I've ever seen. 100% the best sidekick. Fuck this shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not... Oh, I'm getting the bazooka. I thought he was about to dip. Bro, I hope it gets fired. Like, I hope... I hope they fire it. Right? Like, I always want to say this. It's bazooka time. Say hello to my little friend, Scarface. <laughs> oh my god, it's a fucking jetpack. <laughs> oh, he's not gonna be able to fire the bazooka. She's taken him. Playtime's over, kid. I mean, he was training martial arts earlier, but I feel like he's nowhere near her. Oh, really? Ah! Ooh, oh my god, no, she got, uh, he got her pretty good. That was a pretty good spinning back kick. Dude, she's so agile. Time for a family reunion. Hey! No, oh. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? <gasps> oh, he's got a lot of music. God damn. Alright, that's one way to kill the villain. <laughs> Shit. Time to go home. Wait. I think she would pair up really well with Deadpool. I feel like, yeah, that would be a really good fucking duo right there. <laughs> now it's going to be his mission to kill Kick-Ass. Because he killed his dad. My daddy, he would have been proud of both of us. Dave Lazuski. I know that dumbass. <laughs> yeah, he took, your, he took your mask off earlier. Bendy. As a great man once said, where did they get a load of me? No, he didn't. There's a new mask. All right, well, that was kick ass. All right, this movie was amazing. <laughs> it was really damn good. All right, so where on the MCU timeline does this movie fit in at? Like, um,. All right, well, that was kick-ass. A lot better than what I thought it was gonna be, to be honest. A lot of things about this movie are really good. Like, the fighting cinematography, I felt like, was really good. The choreography was also really good, too. Honestly, Hit Girl is my favorite sidekick now. Easily my favorite sidekick. Wait, I, okay, let me see, like, a list of, like, uh, superheroes without powers. Hawkeye, Green Arrow, Iron Man, Black Widow, The Punisher, 
Okay, no, there's a good... Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> there's a good amount, actually, on here without powers. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I think Hawkeye... I get he doesn't have a power... But, like, dog, the fact that he's just so damn accurate with the arrow, that, like, that's a power, in my opinion. Like, that, no, that, he's not powerless, in my opinion. Okay, Punisher, I don't really know too much about Punisher. I know he's pretty raw, though. Uh, Black Widow, okay, so, basically, Hit Girl, gro Hit Girl grows up into Black Widow, is, is what I'm seeing here, honestly. Like, that's, they're, like, the same person. <laughs> but, yeah, this movie was, like, an MCU movie, but the superheroes, all, they're just ruthless and they kill on sight. Like, they have no problem killing anyone. Well, I mean, like, really just for Big Daddy and Hit Girl. You're in their way, they're killing you. They have no issue doing that. And I mean, like, yeah, honestly, if you were a superhero, realistically, you kind of have to kill them. You know, like, they don't, Batman doesn't kill. And, like, in the MCU movies, they don't really kill. They kind of just, just knock them out and then leave them. I mean, they'll kill them sometimes, but it's, like, not intentional. But, yeah, okay, we're definitely doing the second Kick-Ass movie because this movie was amazing. But, okay, the actor Marty... I've definitely have seen him before in something else too. I have to I have to know what it's from. It was another movie like this. Comedy pretty similar to this. Sex Drive, that's what it is. Oh my god, I forgot that movie existed. Holy shit. This okay, we ha I have to do that movie for the channel. I have to. Oh my I remember watching this when I was like when I was like 10. Oh my god, this movie was hilarious. That's what he's from. Okay, okay, let me know if you want me to do that movie, because that, mo that movie was hilarious when I first saw it when I was 10. I feel like Kick-Ass really didn't do much in this movie, like, in terms of, like, stopping bad guys. Well, he took out DeMarco. Besides that, he, kinda, he like, he got, he got shanked earlier in the movie, and then he broke up one fight, kind of, like, not really because he did it, just because the crowd started watching and recording it, so, all, so like, four dudes dipped. You know, and that's why he went viral, but then, like, besides that, he kind of didn't, didn't do anything else. But whatever. Like, he's really not, he's not really even a good superhero. Like, Hit Girl and Big Daddy were, like, the real deal. Which, I mean, that was the point of them, you know, like, to show him, like, who the, who the real deal really is. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. Comment down below what you thought about this movie, down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.